everyone and welcome back to Food for Thought. One quick reminder, the Google form to submit questions for Food for Thought is still open. So if you have any food or gardening questions burning in your mind, please submit them so that we can talk about them in one of these videos. Thanks! Now, today is going to be another fun Food for Thought because we are answering Riley in third grade's question, are there blue potatoes? What a great question, Riley. Thank you for being a creative inquirer. And now let's talk about potatoes. Everyone loves potatoes, right? I mean, french fries, hash browns, all right. Rotten potatoes, loaded baked potatoes, potato chips, garlic roasted potatoes. Potatoes are the most purchased vegetable in the United States, and they're the fifth most important crop worldwide. We're gonna start our discussion today by talking about the history of the potato. Potatoes were first discovered up in the Andes Mountains of Peru as long as 10,000 years ago. These potatoes were wild potatoes, meaning they are simply grown and found in nature without any human work. A quick fun fact that I learned in a Smithsonian Magazine article, these wild potatoes naturally contain toxins to help keep fungi and insects away. So in order to eat these potatoes, the Andean and Incan people would dip their cooked potatoes in a gravy made of clay and water before eating them. They did this because they had watched wild llamas lick clay before eating the potatoes too. So apparently the toxins stick to the clay particles when you eat them, so the toxins stay on the clay instead of being digested by your body. How cool! Eventually the Peruvian people started domesticating the potato, and domestication is when humans start to grow food instead of just finding them in nature, and they often use plant breeding to create better varieties like, for example, a potato without toxins. I will explain plant breeding in a little bit. Anyway, the Indians started to grow different potatoes depending on where they lived along the Andes Mountains. This led to an overall huge collection of different potatoes, all of which looked and tasted very different from the white baking potato that we're used to in the United States. The potato quickly became a really important crop for the Andean and Incan people because the potato carries enough calories and nutrition to sustain people, and they are much easier to grow than a crop like wheat or corn. The potato allowed these people to grow, develop, and flourish into strong civilizations, and it has become an important part of the Andean culture ever since. As people started traveling around the world, many years after the Peruvians discovered potatoes, the potato started traveling as well. Eventually, the potato reached Europe, where it became wildly popular and helped to end a lot of famine. A famine is a period of time when a lot of people starve from not having enough food. In fact, the potato almost doubled the amount of food being grown in Europe, which meant more people had food to eat. So, back to Riley's question about blue potatoes. I mentioned earlier that wild potatoes became domesticated in Peru, and that the Peruvians started doing plant breeding. Plant breeding is similar to dog breeding if you've ever heard someone talk about the breed of their dog. Dogs can eat purebred or mixed bred depending on what the breeds of their parents are. A purebred, for example, would be like a German Shepherd baby that comes from two German Shepherd parents, or you could have a mixed bred, something like a Golden Doodle, which comes from a Golden Retriever mom, say, and a Poodle dad. The offspring of the breeding, in this case the puppy, will have different traits from each of the parents. The Golden Doodle may have the body frame of a Golden Retriever, but fur that's both soft like a Golden Retriever and a little curly like a Poodle. And so breeding allows people to create dogs with the fur, shape, and characteristics that they want in their puppies. Breeding is also done in the plant world to create new varieties of foods with better traits. For plants, you may want to breed for drought resistance in case it doesn't rain a lot where you live, or for resistance to different fungi. Plant breeding helps you create a crop that you can grow more of and that hopefully tastes better. The Andean people used plant breeding with their potatoes and they ended up creating thousands of different varieties that looked and tasted very different depending on where they lived. Some of the plant breeding resulted in potatoes that were wildly different colors. They created white, yellow, pink, red, purple, and blue potatoes. So yes, Riley, there are blue potatoes and you can thank the ancient people of Peru for them. Now you know more about potatoes than you probably ever wanted to. They are a super popular vegetable today with a very rich history. Thanks again, Riley, for your question, and I will see you all back here next week. Bye-bye.